Hello and welcome to this week's edition of KPSN. Gillette Stadium, the biggest stage in all of New England, home to the six-time Super Bowl champions, New England Patriots. Tonight, our King Philip Warriors will be on that stage to take on the Catholic Memorial Knights in the Division II Super Bowl. For our Warrior football team, their tireless days and nights of practice spent perfecting their craft has earned them a chance for another ring. This wasn't necessarily the expected outcome for this team. Last season was a bumpy ride, and this season wasn't perfect. However, our Warriors showed that the magic is still very much alive. The team has been 9-0 this season under the lights, including the playoffs. Interestingly, their two losses have been in day games, and tonight, Gillette Stadium will be glowing. This season has really been a tale of two cities, the offense and the defense. Each in their own dramatic fashion have propelled this team forward by outperforming their opponents on many levels. Our Warrior running game was the dominant force all year, with the powerful offensive line creating consistent holes and allowing halfbacks Rudy Gately and Crawford Cantav to show their talents in the open field. When the ball was in the air, captains Jonathan Joseph and Danny Clancy were nearly always there for the catch, consistently moving the offensive change when the teams needed it most. I mean, we're doing all that we can. CM's a wagon. They got a bunch of players, a bunch of D1 commits, a bunch of stuff like that. So we're doing all we can mentally, physically, and we're ready for a battle. On the other side of the ball, the defense was relentless in applying pressure for the opposing quarterback on nearly every play, forcing a lot of mistakes and turnovers. King Phillip ended the season with 292 total points and only allowing 168. The King Phillips opponent this year is the formidable Catholic Memorial Knights, hailing from West Roxbury. They are an explosive team who will have no doubt be a challenge for the Warriors. Up to this point, Catholic Memorial is undefeated and they've scored an average of 46 points a game this season. They clearly have an offense that knows how to move the ball. CM has outscored their opponents by 356 points this season. Both their offense and defense are very strong with trio recruits committed to Boston College. With a speedy running back and a 6'4", 255-pound defensive end and a quick wide receiver with great hands, this team is stacked. In order to win, the Warriors defense will have to give their best performance of the season, keeping CM's drive short and giving our offense some time to work the clock. Catholic Memorial has a good amount of talent at each position, but nothing the Warriors coaches can't neutralize. The way for King Phillip to win is simple. Play as well as they have practiced and focus on keeping the ball away from the high-powered CM offense. It will be the best opponent KP has played so far, but our players are confident in our coaching and the game plan they have devised. Coach Brian Lee is leading his team to the fourth Super Bowl appearance at Gillette Stadium. The team is facing a beast, but you can bet Coach Lee has a plan to get it on a leash. Despite a tough loss on Thanksgiving to our rivals Franklin, Coach Lee and the boys look forward to using this as a learning experience as they can apply it in this tough game. So in terms of being able to shut down uh, CM, I think what you look at first is their speed, their big play capability. There's no team that I have ever seen has the explosive capability that they have. Uh, but I'm sure everybody who has played them has had the same plan. That's just where it gets hard, is that they average 46 points a game. So to contain that explosiveness, what can we do differently than everybody else does? And you would think you play off, but we're going to try and get at them and challenge them a little bit, um, see how that works out for us. And in terms of what we need to do, I don't think it's any surprise. I think it's another way that we, some of the way that we played all year long is to control possessions, minimize their possession. Uh, we want to control the clock. We want to be as close to perfect as we can. And I think one of the great reasons last week was so frustrating is the mistakes that we made. We cannot give donations in terms of penalties, in terms of turnovers or bobbled, you know, anything that would result in negative plays that gets us off schedule. We need to stay on schedule and try to move the ball. We're going to have to have big plays on special teams on both sides, whether that's blocking a punt and making sure, assuring up our punt protection, not allowing a big return. They make big plays in the return game as well. So it's a lot to take on because they have, a, they do so much so well. They can pound you and they can also throw the ball out there and use that speed. So it's just. Uh, it's just going to be a question of trying to scheme it up, which we think we do, and now go out and execute it. This will be the last time our seniors will be suiting up in their Warrior uniforms, and they are finding some inspiration coming into this game as underdogs. Senior captain Charlie Grant has had a terrific year leading the offense at quarterback. With such a big role surrounded by tons of pressure, Charlie has worked hard to lead the Warriors to this exciting Super Bowl appearance. Charlie has racked up quite a few passing and rushing touchdowns this year, making him a very sneaky offensive weapon. 
He's ready to play in the game of his life against the number one team in the state. Uh, I think the Thanksgiving game against Franklin helped a lot. Uh, them being the number three team in the state uh, was definitely a tough challenge for us. So going up against the number one team now, uh, it was a good wake up call for us to uh, not lose on Thanksgiving, but to have an opponent like that. And then as uh, far as practice goes, um, you just have to stay focused day in and day out, listen to the coach's game plan and work as hard as we can. We've been working hard um, and to see it all pay off to make it Gillette, it's pretty satisfying. So we'll see what happens. Take it home. The big boys in the trenches have been the heart and soul of this KP offense. Our Warrior O-line has been the most dominant in the league, even though they were outsized by teams like Milford, Attleboro, and BC High. Senior Captain Hunter Hastings and Junior Chris Cisse are imposing as KP's tackles. Senior Dan Ninevy is starting center, flanked by senior Anamaro Ismal and sophomore Sean King at guard. In the rotation is junior Mike Murphy and sophomore Logan Van Varenwick. The O-line is also complemented by three tight ends, senior captain Drew Danson, junior Nate Carney, and sophomore Luke Danson. This is an impressive crew, and they are ready to protect the line to allow Charlie Grant and his arsenal to move the ball downfield. You know, we just put in a lot of work, so many hours, all the time in the off season, you know, we put so much into it. Um, you know, Coach Lee put us in a lot of work in the off season, you know, Matt and I, Gut Camp, all those camps, all those hard work practices, all those long practices, so we just got to work and we, we did what we did. I feel like we have a good game plan put together, we just gotta execute, we got just as much of a chance as anyone else, we just gotta like, go out there and give it our all. You know, I started football in fourth grade and you know, you see all those, you know, I've been watching KP High School football for a while and you see all those alumni ahead of you go out and win games and especially you know 2016 uh, 17 and 18 when they went to the Super Bowl watching those guys <clears throat> I was in elementary and middle school and I was like you know I wanted to be in their shoes I wanted to be one of those guys one of those teams that got to go to Gillette and so uh, winning that game and um, knowing that you were going to Gillette was uh, was pretty awesome and uh, especially for me I got I blew my knee against Milford last year um, and to be able to come back and, you know, my boys went out there and beat them twice in one season and beat them to um, go to Gillette. It was, you know, it was an awesome feeling um, just being out there with my guys, my best friends and, um, you know, the whole town's watching you and getting that win was just, you know, uh, it's a very surreal moment and I'll definitely remember it for the rest of my life. This team's defense has been a force throughout the entire year. They have come up big against the run with their stellar defensive line and have stopped the pass when they needed it most. Uh, well, you know, they got, definitely got some dogs. They got some big kids, some good uh, players with a lot of college interests and offers. But, you know, our coaches made good game plans that we just got to stick to. And uh, I think if we grade it out, we definitely pull up the big upset. Uh, we got to play for each other. We're going to match up. They uh, gone big with them. And they put their skills for us in. Our skills for us are going to be in. We're going to match up all game. And we're going to play our best. This is our final stop for our Warrior football team, and we expect a great game and a lot of noise from the stands. The KP student section has been loud and clear all season, and we expect another great turnout at Gillette. The noise always gives the players a big boost on the field, and tonight they need us more than ever. Our pride and passion marching band and our Warrior cheer squad will also be there supporting our team. Let's make Gillette feel like our home field. The student section is going to be loud, the atmosphere is going to be amazing. Everybody better pop out, back the boys, because it's going to be a gritty night. Hey. Yeah, I mean, when we're out on the field and we make a big play, we look up in the student section, we see everyone going crazy, we hear everybody, it really like, gets us going. Really gets what the other teams had, gets us all hyped up, it's awesome. Big game on Thursday. Three words to describe the student section, lit, crazy, movie. It's going to be electric, the boys are going to be buzzing, let's get it. Uh, big game tonight, playing CM, it's going to be a tough task, but we pack the stands like we have. It seems like we've been buzzing all year, get loud, we'll be in CM's head all night, and it'll help our uh, boys succeed. Yeah, everyone uh, wear green and gold, show up, ready to make some noise, and uh, let's do our best to help the boys win another Super Bowl. We're packing it tonight, we're packing it. We're making uh, Gillette Stadium our home field. Let's go. The forecast for tonight is certainly not ideal. Cold with a 60% chance of rain but it could slow down the CM offense just enough to give KP the edge they need. Boys, we will be there for you all the way. We are proud of all the hard work you've put in to gain this opportunity. A message to the boys, it's that this is an opportunity, that these kind of things don't just happen to any kind of program. It's not just willy-nilly, it's, it's a result of their hard work. That they have created this opportunity through a lot of investment of their time, their energy and work, and to maximize what they can do out there. You can't do anything about 
how the game is going to be played in terms of ref calls or big plays that they might make or what might happen in terms of weather. But what we can do is maximize our possessions, our our time on the field. And when you get to play on a field like that and you look back on it and you know, my age and say, hey, I played at Gillette, you know, you're telling their kids at some point that they want to look back on, that they gave their best effort, that they did everything they could and that they played their best game in that, in that facility. Hello, KP Warrior football team. Mrs. Dort here, wishing you the very best tomorrow night. You do a great job in the classroom and I know you're gonna do a great job in the field. Good luck, go KP. It's been a pleasure to work this season and all the home games and to see you guys do so well this season. I'm so proud of all of you. I'll be working the crowd, so I'll be there with the popcorn. I know that makes a difference. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night. And don't forget, say that. Let's go. Hey, KP Warriors, best of luck tomorrow night. We'll all be there cheering you on. And remember, captains, you lead by example. Go out there and have a great time. Hey, KP, tomorrow will be a day of success to execute many students' accomplishments. A day to persevere, rejoice, and make a difference. Go KP. Shout out to number two. All right, the high school admin team wants to wish the players good luck at tomorrow's Super Bowl. So, good yeah, luck, guys. Let's go, KP. Let's go, KP. Yeah. Yay! Hey, guys, I won't wish the football team luck because luck is what you need when you arrive unprepared, and I know you won't be on Thursday night. Um, the only thing I will wish is everybody stays healthy and you don't have any injuries or anything like that. Um, but I did make a list of things that you can uh, control and um, things that you can, if you execute them, you can outdo your opponent in multiple ways. So here's my list. You can out-hustle your opponent. You can definitely do that. You can outsmart your opponent. I know you guys can do that. You can out-emotion your opponent. You can definitely control that. You can out-hit your opponent. You can definitely do that. You can out-discipline your opponent. I know you'll do that. You will out-fundamental your opponent. You can certainly do that. And I do believe you will outplay your opponent. So control the things that you can control. Um, I know you will out-coach your opponent. So let's do that. Let's, we're going to make that happen. And then um, all those other things are things that, that are within your control. So you have a little bit of a um, Davy versus Goliath situation. Take advantage of it and um, seize that opportunity. Uh, I think. Catholic Memorial has probably already crowned themselves as the champion. Um, and let's shock the world and go out there and have some fun doing it. Go get them. Good luck, King Philip. We hope you win in the Super Bowl. Good luck, Warriors. Do your job. Hey, 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 hey. I just got one to say. I got one thing to say. I say right for creep. Ooh, I got what I eat. As NFL legend Vince Lombardi once said, winning means you are willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Game on! We will see you back here next week with all the highlights.